past nine for a Tuesday, 12th of June. Uh, Dave has travelled in just a moment. So, uh, joined in the studio by Sam Asprey, aspiring filmmaker uh, from uh, Cornwall. So, welcome to the studio, Sam. Hello. Good, Good to see you. Um, all right, so we talk about this one. What a Congleton Film Festival. We're intrigued. We love the annual events. We love the things that come come our way year in, year out. But uh, we love the new stuff. We love the new stuff. And um, the Congleton Film Festival already, I'm quite excited by just looking at some of the venues that you've approached and are tied up with this. Yeah, it's going to take place from the 28th to the 30th of September. So not too long now, but no. long enough to try and get some films in, which is what I'm looking for at the moment. Is people to submit films and I'm also looking for sponsors as well because I'm yeah. trying to make it a free event so anyone, everyone and everyone can come and enjoy well, some Why did you get the idea? How did you get the idea to put a film festival on in uh, I got the idea while I was at university and uh, I was coming towards the end of, end of uni and graduating and knew I was moving back to Congleton and thought, what can I do when I get home? I'll try and put a film festival together and here I am now. What? Three months down the line. Nearly getting there. I think I'm right in saying, aren't there's, there's there's no cinema in Congleton. None whatsoever at all. They do show films at Daneside Theatre uh, fairly regularly, mm. but that's only on Sunday afternoons, I think. Right. So but but they used uh, to be, didn't they? They're like a lot of towns really cinemas. Yeah, I think disappeared with the TV being introduced years ago. All the old cinemas got closed, and with multiplexes taking over as well. That's, yeah, it's another issue. Just t- tell us where the old... Because I know you're from Congleton and, and you're yeah. clearly interested in films and you're a film, filmmaker. Tell us where the old cinemas were in Congleton. Well, all my venues for the film festival are going to be at old cinemas. So they're at um, the Electric Picture House, which is now an artist studio in Cross Street. Um, the Capital Cinema, which is where Capital Walk is now. Mm. And I'm going to be showing films in Illigini's Cafe Bar in there. And then I'm hopefully going to do an open air screening in uh, Congleton Community Gardens, where they're dependent, which used to be the premier cinema. Right. So Congleton did have, uh, you know, once upon a time, a rich heritage of uh, yeah, lots, cinemas. Yeah, lots of cinemas they? at one time, and now yeah. none. Which I is... mean, not, not everybody would know that. I mean, Capital Walk, the shopping centre there, just by the uh, bus station, yeah. into the cafe. Uh, so there, was, there, there used to be a cinema there, right? Yeah. The yeah, yeah. That was the right Capital that Cinema, side. hence Capital Walk. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Uh, no, absolutely. All right, someone's going to be uh, sticking with us uh, this morning. Um, and uh, looking for suggestions of, of uh, films uh, and, and everything else. Um, all right, I'm intrigued by this. And, and certainly the electric... I want you to tell us a bit more about the electric pitch house as well because that's had a massive turnaround, hasn't it, in the past yeah, few months? So it's, yeah, this last year. Project that's been going on there. So we'll talk more with Sam in just uh, a little bit. Put that date in your diary, Dave. 28, 29, it 30th. It's in there, yeah. It's in there, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like an old cinema. Yeah, something quite nice. Yeah, there's one near me actually still going, the uh, Savoy. Yeah. It's in Stockport. I, guess. I love going there. Is it still a cinema then? It's not been uh, still a cinema. to a bank yeah, or a still, weather spoons or anything? No, it's still a cinema. It's still got right. the old seats. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. No 3D at all. Yeah. Which is yeah. great. Are the seats comfortable? They're very comfortable. How are they? Right. Leg room. Right. Bit of an yeah. issue. People were small yeah. about then, I think. Yeah. yeah, and then do they turn the lights? Because one of my bugbears with cinemas these days, I've not been to the, the, the cinema for quite some time, but they seem to leave a lot of lights on. Yeah, they turn all the lights off. I prefer watching a movie in the dark. And the lights go down, then they come back up again after the ads. And they yeah, that screen, that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to be oh, able yeah. to look around and see everybody. No, I don't want to see people. I want to be yeah, engrossed. Engrossed. Absolutely. Mm. Cheshire Silk One is here with me. Sam is putting on a uh, festival of film in Congleton, the Congleton Film Festival, uh, at the end of September, which is a nice move because we know it's a busy summer this yeah. one. There's a ton of stuff September going on. So just kind of, yes, yeah, it's at the end of September. Uh, lovely stuff. Uh, you spoke before, Sam, about the Electric Picture House. Now, this is a, a great story as to what's been happening in yeah. Congleton. It's, um, the building was derelict this time last year, and a group of artists who are now known as uh, the Electric Pitch House Artists Cooperative. We took the name from the cinema. Yeah. Um, completely renovated it and have turned it into a new artist studios and gallery space. And they had their opening a couple of months ago and it seems to be going really well. 
Yeah, I know they're doing a few bits for, for the Barnaby Festival yeah. uh, as well. Um, while we're thinking of the website, electricpicturehouse.com, you see a nice flavour as to, to what it's all about, the fact that you've got these nine artist studios and the gallery space. Yeah. Um, and, and it wouldn't work, yeah, if this was in a new bi- a new build, it wouldn't no. work, but the fact that it's in this old cinema. Yeah, yeah it's got a lot really of history. The building's got a lot of history itself. Because mm. along with being a cinema, well, originally it was a uh, Faustian cutting mill. That's what it was built for. Yeah. And then it's been a cinema, an ambulance station, um, a bike shop, a taxi station. Mm. And apparently, I got told the other week, it was a uh, roller disco at one time a day as well. Right. People will have memories of that, won't they? Yeah. Absolutely. And you filmed the process, didn't you? Uh, yeah, for I, filmed, the I got in touch projects. with the, the group and asked if I could go and film, and they said yes. So I filmed that from December, not December, from September to December. And filmed the whole pro- process and turned it into a documentary. Mm. And that's on their website if anyone wants to look at it. It must be exciting being at the start of this project, the Congleton Film Festival, and deciding really what kind of festival you want it to be and who you want to attract and the films that you're going to show. I guess a lot of it's going to be detected by what people can go along and see. What have you got so far? What are your thoughts on that? Um, films that I've got so far, I've got two definite films that have been submitted. Uh, one's The POW, or POW, by John Hamlet. And that's about a prisoner of war in Germany. It's a sort of thriller action. Mm. It's, a, it's a nine minute short, but there's a, there's a lot in there for nine minutes, and it's really good. So I'm looking forward to showing that. And um, the other one that I've got is Destiny Awaits, and that's made by David Gowen, who's also helping me sort of set up and run the festival as well. He's doing the website for me, which is a great help. And at the moment, you're inviting other filmmakers um, yeah. to get in touch with you with, with the film, films that yeah. they've made to, to show at the festival. Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to keep it as local as possible, really, and that's what it can be a celebration about. Because it's, it's not necessarily a traditional film festival. There aren't prizes or no one's going to win. Mm. It's just a celebration of film and yeah. local talent, really, which is hopefully what it's all going to be all about. And I guess it's so much, with technology nowadays, it's so much more accessible, so much easier for people to, to make films. I mean, you've got to yeah. know what you're doing, but in terms of actually editing the thing, you know... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot easier than it used to be, and with um, the new digital age as well, yeah. it's made things a lot easier, because there's no, no tapes, it's cheaper, equipment's lighter... So it's really easy for anyone to just go out and have an idea and Get on write a it. script for house, yeah, 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 go and yeah, shoot yeah. it yeah. in your garden if you want, or yeah. anywhere. It's Budding filmmakers, if you're one of them, or you know someone that is, then Sam uh, would love to hear from you. How can they best get in touch with you, Sam, if they're interested? Um, we're on Facebook and Twitter. If anyone, if you're uh, on Facebook, it's Congleton Film Festival. Just search that, and we've got a page running. Or if anyone's, anyone wants to get in touch on Twitter, it's at Congleton Phil. And you've got a website as well? We've got a website yeah, as yeah. well. That is um, congleton-film-festival.com. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, the very best of luck with the, uh, the film Thank festival. You. I can see how it's... Uh, I mean, there's never, am I right in saying there's never been a film festival in Congleton? This is something not that I'm aware of. That you're no, tap it not into. at all. So yeah. it's all new to the town and new to me running it, so... And you never know how these things are going to go, and you know you you kind of throw it out there to people. You never know what's going to bite, what's going to come back in. Response has been good so far, and it seems to be something that everyone's interested in. Yeah. Trying to create a bit of a buzz at the moment. Which and is the kind of films, really, that you know, you, you can't go to, to your multiplexes to the, the, the view, to the Odeon, and, no, and no, see this kind of thing. Something a bit more specialised than that. Yeah, I mean, stuff that doesn't get a chance to be seen normally, yeah. especially if it's local. So I'm creating a platform for people to be able to show their work and people to view, view it as well. Love it. Is, Love it. Well, good luck. Great with the whole thing and uh, let us know how you're getting on and keep you know keep yeah. us posted over the summer months alright thanks a lot there's uh, Sam Asprey putting together Congleton Film Festival um, Sam is an aspiring filmmaker himself uh, if you're kind of understanding what Sam's talking about here and you think yeah this guy's got something I can see this happening I've shot films in the past um, and, and, but I've never really shown them to the masses this could be a great opportunity for you uh, have a look at the website as I said it's early days but then again the film festival, there's dates, there's venues set aside already, the 28th and 29th and 30th of September, that 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Congleton-film-festival.com. Uh, stay with us. Back with the